Hello, and welcome to what may be your first view of the TouchCast software. TouchCast is, in the simplest terms, an interactive video. You can use this video in a multitude of ways, and I'm about to show you how. Feel free to tweet me your comments as we go. First of all, let's begin with the hypothetical situation. You have your first full-time teaching job, and because your immune system isn't completely teacher strong yet, you catch the winter flu. You could type up sub plans and email them to the secretary to give to the sub who will be running your classroom for the day, or you could create a touch cast. You can greet your students, explain assignments for the day, and even provide the links to the documents they will need to complete the assignment right on the video. Go ahead, scroll through this hyperdoc. If you click on my email, the students or sub can email me directly about questions that they have. They can also take this document and save it to Google Drive, complete it in class that day, and then turn it in. The sub is no longer guessing at your instructions, but is instead ensuring that your directions are being followed per the video's request. You can also use this tool as an opportunity to flip the classroom. Send your students home with a link to your TouchCast. While at home, they can watch a lesson created by you, interact with live Twitter feeds, and, if applicable, watch an adorable video of a puppy. My favorite aspect of TouchCast for use in the flipped classroom is the use of interactive questions. I'll leave this question on the screen. When you find the answer, click on your selection to see if you're correct. Back to school nights are also just around the corner, and all teachers know how difficult it is to get all of your parents to attend. For the solution, simply record yourself at back to school night and upload the TouchCast link to Twitter or your classroom website. Insert a calendar to display upcoming events or consider inserting an interactive Google map for parents to see your end of the year field trip. You can of course still insert documents that parents will need and now parents will be able to get all of the information that they may have missed by not attending back to school night. By now, you might be wondering how this all works. Well, it's really quite simple. You download the TouchCast app on your iPad, record yourself giving a lesson, explaining a project, or going over classroom procedures, and after this, you're halfway done. Now it's time to add V apps. Yes, V apps with a V like victory but really it stands for video apps. These are apps that are incorporated into the TouchCast system. Simply choose the V app that you want or need in your video, click and drag it into position on the video screen, and voila, you're almost done. Do you remember that question up there? Do you know the answer to it now? Go ahead and click on the answer that you think is correct. If it is correct, it will highlight green. If it is incorrect, it will highlight red and it will show you the correct answer. If you'd like to, you could add special effects to your video, such as black and white, outline, or some sort of vintage effect. The software also comes with sound effects. <gasps> the last helpful tool that I will show you today is the whiteboard effect. Simply open the whiteboard app inside of TouchCast and you can draw right on the screen. Once you're finished creating your video, simply select Save Project, and you have just proven to be quite the ingenious educator.